Today's video is a perfect video to do after you have been staying up too late, you've been eating too many sweets, maybe for the holiday season. My name is Elise, your favorite face yoga coach, and in today's workout, we're going to calm the nervous system. We're going to release any feelings of anxiety or stress maybe brought on from the holidays. We're going to lift and tone the muscles, wake up the brain, and we're even going to do a lymphatic massage at the end to get all the toxins moving away from the face, getting you feeling feeling great, re-energized, and back to your old self. Let's jump right into it. We're going to start by sitting up straight, and we're going to do a tapping massage. So starting at the sternum, tap with your fingertips gently all the way up into your clavicle. We're going to tap below the clavicle bone, on top of the clavicle bone and then above the clavicle bone and we're going to move up the sides of the neck here make sure you're sitting up tall your weight is evenly distributed and then go ahead and move to the jawline here gently tapping along the chin we'll cover our whole face here making sure to tap above the lips on the cheeks covering the entire face here connect with your breath while you do this we're going to go above and around the eyes. When you're tapping underneath the eyes, you can tap a little more gently here. Tapping on the eyebrows, the forehead. Tapping is a great way to bring circulation to the muscles, wake up the muscles. It also helps reduce any anxiety or stress and really release it from the body. So make sure you're breathing deep here. We're tapping on the head, the neck, the back of the neck, the shoulders. And then we'll bring it down to the starting point. We'll start out with a long big O to get the face really waken up and the energy levels high here. So drop your jaw, create a long and narrow O, wrap your lips around your upper and lower teeth, and then send your cheeks to the sky like you're smiling, but without moving your lips. So your lips that stay tightly wrapped around your teeth really emphasize the activation in the cheeks here. I'm placing my hands on the side of the face here so I'm not making the skin pinches next to my eyes, the wrinkles next to the eyes, but you can hold your hand on your chin if you want to make your O long and narrow or on the forehead if you're creating any forehead wrinkles. Keep lifting your cheeks up to the sky. Take a deep breath in, a long breath out, and release. We're going to do this exercise two more times. So take a deep breath in together, drop your jaw, create a long and narrow O, wrap your upper lip and your lower lip tightly over your teeth and send your cheeks up to the sky. In this set, you can do an optional jaw massage. So just taking the fingertips and making circular massages along the jaw here, releasing any tension. We want to make sure we're not activating our jaw when we do this pose. So we're really just activating the cheeks here. The lips are activated around the teeth, and that's it. The lips hold for the opposite resistance. The cheeks are sent up to the sky. Make sure you're not creating any tension in between the eyebrows or in the chin or along the jawline. Make sure you're sitting up straight. Your neck and shoulders are relaxed as possible, and go ahead and release. All right, we'll do the long big O one last time together. So dropping your jaw, creating the long and narrow O. Lift your cheeks up to the sky. Place your hands in the position that's correct for you. And this time I want you to look up and slightly back. So we're looking back into our eyebrows with our eyes and we're tilting our heads slightly back. This is going to help further activate the cheeks and apply a little more resistance. So we're working upwards against the opposite resistance. This exercise is amazing for lifting and toning the cheeks. It's going to reverse nasal labial folds. It's going to help plump the lips and reverse lip lines. And it's really great for really rejuvenating all of the 50 plus muscles on the face. Go ahead and release. Great job. Let's blow a few raspberries here with our mouth to release any tension that may have lingered in the lips or the mouth area. When you're ready, go ahead and release, and we're going to move on to cat eyes. So place your palm ends on your temples, covering the ends of the eyebrows, and you want to lift up and back at 45 degrees. Squeeze your eyes shut at opposite resistance here. Make sure your tongue is placed up at the top of your mouth, and really try to relax your neck, your shoulders, sending your elbows wide. 
So our hands are pulling our skin and our muscle on the sides of the face up and back. Make sure you adjust your hands if you need to. Make sure you keep having that correct position and then squeeze your eyes shut against the opposite resistance. So we're actively working the muscles on the sides of the eyes here. If you want to look in the mirror and check to make sure you're doing this evenly, I would recommend that. It's sometimes hard to do this on camera, but I would definitely recommend using a mirror when you are doing these exercises. So also feel into each side, make sure it's evenly, make sure you're squeezing on both sides evenly. Go ahead and release. And we are gonna move on to double V. So take your index and your middle finger, place them on the inner and outer corner of the eyes and look slightly up. We're making tiny pulses with our eyes, squeezing them shut and opening. We're not fully shutting the eyes, we're just squinting, really activating through this lower eyelid here and releasing. So this is the dynamic form of the exercise, squeezing and holding and then releasing. Really feel into the lower eyelid, make sure you're not overcompensating with the upper eyelid or the eyebrows or the cheeks. The, the exercise here is really targeting this lower eyelid and that's where we're activating. We're activating, pushing that lower eyelid up and really firming this under eye area here. So keep pulsing and releasing here. Make sure you're not clenching in the back of the neck. Make sure you're sitting up straight. And of course, always remember to breathe here. Go ahead and release. And then we're going to move back to cat eyes. So placing your hands in position on your temples at the ends of the eyebrows, lifting up and back, pressing slightly in. So the hand position here is very important. Our elbows are wide. Our neck and shoulders are relaxed and the activation is coming from the temple area, from the outside of the eyes, and we're squeezing this against the opposite resistance of our hands moving in the opposite direction. So of course, remember to breathe here. Release any tension from the middle part of the eyebrows. Release any tension in the jaw. Check to make sure that your mouth, that the, your tongue is up at the roof of your mouth here. You're sitting up straight and then go ahead and release. Great job. Moving to double V again. So placing your index finger and your middle finger on the inner and outer corners. Make sure that you're lifting slightly up and out. So we don't want our fingers dragging down on the skin. We wanna make sure there is a slight lift and stretch outwards so that you really can get that resistance in the lower eyelid here. We're not stretching far or or wide, it's just a very slight lift and stretch to the sides. This is gonna make sure your fingers are not pulling down on your skin and we really get that resistance we're looking for. So keep pulsing with that lower eyelid, pulsing up and releasing, pulsing up and releasing. Release any tension in the rest of the face here, connect with your breath and really feel into that lower eyelid. Put all of your attention and focus on lifting that lower eyelid and relaxing through the rest of the face. Go ahead and release and we'll do cat eyes one last time. So placing your hands in position here, squeezing your eyes shut against opposite resistance. And if you wanna try the dynamic version here, you can try the dynamic version. It would just be gently opening and closing your eyes against opposite resistance, or you can stick with the static version. So whatever version you do, this exercise is going to be great for releasing any of the tension on the outside of the eyes. It's going to release any stagnation, any adhesions. So the outside of our eyes where we normally would get crow's feet are nice and smooth. It's also really going to give a nice lift to the entire sides of the face. We're lifting and toning the temples here and really waking up the entire upper part of the face. Go ahead and release and we'll do double V one last time, placing our hands in position. And again, squinting and releasing. This is the dynamic form of the double V. We really wanna tone this under eye here. This exercise is going to increase circulation in our under eyes. It's also building strength in our eye muscle. And we're really going to, with the increased circulation, help reduce puffiness. So any puffiness around the eyes is even going to reverse dark circles. And again, we're strengthening and plumping the eye muscles. So we're going to see less fine lines and wrinkles around the eye. So an excellent 
exercise for the under eyes, for when you look sleepy, for again, when we've indulged a little bit too much over the holidays. This exercise and routine is really going to bring you back even better than before. So go ahead and release and we're moving on to the lower part of the face. So in high draw press, we're smiling and pulling our lower lip over our lower teeth and then protruding our jaw forward. Place your hands on your clavicle one over another and then look upwards. So you will feel an activation and stretch under your chin and neck. We are lifting our chin up and forward and then the corners of our mouth are lifting in towards the back molars. Our eyes and forehead are relaxed here. Make sure you keep your tongue all the way up at the roof of your mouth here if possible, and make sure your hands are holding the skin and muscle in place so we get that activation. Go ahead and release. If you want to roll your shoulders a few times here, go ahead and do that. It's so important to keep the tension out of the shoulders, the neck, and the upper body if you want to have great results in face yoga. Let's do this again. So uh, while doing high jaw press, place your hands on the clavicle, hold your skin and muscle in place. The jaw is protruding forward. Our, the corners of our mouth are moving back towards our back molars and our bottom lip, of course, is wrapped around our bottom teeth. Our tongue is up at the roof of our mouth. Your forehead is relaxed here, relaxed in between the eyebrows, making sure the upper face is not doing anything other than being completely relaxed. We are really feeling a stretch and an activation in the under chin and the neck area. Go ahead and release. Again, if you need to do some shoulder rolls or some neck circles, go ahead and do that. And we'll do this one last time. So placing your hands in position, looking up, protruding the jaw forward, tongue is at the roof of the mouth. This exercise is amazing for toning and lifting the neck and the jawline. It's going to reverse jaws. It's going to lift droopy corners of the mouth. We're going to reverse the double chin. And it also really helps firm up the skin on the neck and jawline. So do not skip this exercise. Great for the lower part of the face, stretching the neck. And like I said, we really need a flexible neck and shoulders so that these tense muscles aren't pulling down on the muscles on our face. Go ahead and release. And now let's grab some face oil here. I normally don't do a mix of videos with oil and face yoga. Normally when I was doing my videos, sometimes I'd be at work and I couldn't do the oil part. So I've kept these separately. I'm thinking about adding a massage at the end of my videos with oil. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So take the oil and pat it on your face, rub it in your hands, and then you want to press the oil into your face and neck here, making sure to get it nicely covered all around the cheeks and the upper lips, the eyes, and the forehead here. So make sure your face is nicely covered for a nice smooth glide. Once your face is covered, we can start with the cheek lifter massage so we're taking our hands and we're starting at our jawline and it's kind of like a slapping motion but a, a little more gentle than that lifting upwards we're doing a, a good amount of these so we'll be here for a second just lifting the cheek so one hand after another and i like to move at an inward motion so the cheeks are lifting up and in towards the center of the face here Go at a pace that feels good for you. So coming up from the jawline to the center of the face and you want to make sure you're breathing here. We're really going to lift up the side of the cheek. So when you're ready, you can go ahead and release and notice how much that side is lifted compared to the other side. Check in the mirror. Go ahead and move to the other side, making lifting, almost slapping movements upwards, massaging upwards. This goes at a pretty quick pace, but you can go however is comfortable for you. This is really going to increase circulation in our cheeks. We're going to lift and tone the cheeks. It's going to bring fresh oxygen and blood and nutrients to the skin. So we're really going to get a very radiant skin from this massage. Not only that, you can tell it really lifts the cheeks right away. So absolutely best massage for the cheeks. Take a deep breath in, a long breath out, and then go ahead and release. Shake your hands out if they're feeling tired. I know that was a lot for the hands and the arms. Let's move on to massaging from the center of the face outwards. So we've lifted the cheeks. Now we're going to bring all of the activated lymph 
to the sides of the face so that it could be removed from the body. So we're just using our fingers here, sliding with the oil from the middle of the face. We're brushing underneath the eye, we're brushing the cheeks, and we're brushing all the way to the jawline. So from the center of the face all the way to the ears, gently massaging outwards. This is going to help get that activated lymph move into the lymphatic system and out away from the face. Moving on to a lip pinches next, we're taking our index finger and thumb and we're making tiny pinches behind the lips here. So you'll move from side to side when you hit that big or small ball of tissue at the end of the mouth, you switch and move to the other side. Do not try to massage that out that is supposed to be there. Go ahead and release and we're going to do a knuckle massage, massage on the forehead. So taking the knuckles of both hands, studying the center of the forehead and fanning out. Make sure you brush over your temples here as those can store a lot of tension as well. So massaging through the forehead, really breaking up any adhesions, stagnations, moving all the way to the temples, really, and also bringing fresh oxygen and blood. Finally, we're going to do a neck sweeping massage. So place one hand on the jawline and the opposite hand is going to sweep from the jawline and the ear all the way down to the collarbone. So we're really getting rid of all of that lymph. We helped move around and out to the sides of our face. Now we're moving it down, down towards the collarbone and it's going to be activated and removed away from the face. And then go ahead and switch to the other side, holding our jawline, placing the other hand on the neck and sweeping down from the ear and jawline all the way towards the collarbone. So the hand should be gliding here against the oil, really helping to release any toxins from our face and enter the lymphatic system. Your skin is going to be bright and glowing and vibrant from this workout and corresponding massage. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like these videos and you want to keep working out your face, toning and glowing with me in 2024, please subscribe to the channel. Namaste and I will see you in the next video.